Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Travis Kelsey's, I think that's how you pronounce it, who knows. Um, Travis Kelsey's Kitchen. This is the sausage and meatball marinara with peppers and onions. It is sliced pork sausage and cheesy pork and beef meatballs with marinara sauce, bell peppers, and onions. It looks really good. So there's meatball sausage and bell peppers and onions and sauce in there. So it looks really good. Um, KC Style 87. So it's, we bought these at Walmart. It was $9.88, but it's really not a meal for one necessarily. I mean, you can make a meal for one. It is a one pound, 454 gram, one pound, 454 gram meal. It says fully cooked. These come in the refrigerated section. You buy them where all they, um, like the barbecue, um, the prepared barbecue and stuff like that is in the refrigerated section. It's near the deli in the one we go to. Um, so there's three servings in the container, about five ounces, 140 grams is 240 calories. So really, if you times that times three, what is that, six, 700 calories or somewhere around there? There's the other info for you. So it says savory Italian sausage, mouthwatering meatballs, tangy peppers, and a rich marinara sauce and a taste bud touchdown that's bursting with flavor. So it takes four and a half minutes for this particular one. So we're going to puncture the inner pouch. So um, we got to take all this packaging off. Heat for four and a half minutes or until heated thoroughly. Let stand for two minutes, stir and serve. If you can read those. There you go. So I'm going to take all the packaging off, heat for four and a half minutes. So, okay, let's see what it looks like. Throw you down. Gotta get the packaging up in first. That's the challenge of opening the plastic wrap is harder than anything. All right. So there we go. So it's just a cardboard sleeve and plastic. So here's the pouch. I'm going to turn it like this. And it says to uh, puncture the inner film. I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and just like um, cut it on one end. Probably, yeah, it doesn't matter. But I'll, I'll probably cut it on one of the ends. Just snip it right here. That way, um, when I pour it out into a plate or whatever, it'll, I can just squeeze it right out. So I'll probably just cut it on an end. Not in the middle because it's hard to do that if it's got to be a hole in the middle. So uh, anyway, I'll be back when it comes out. All right, not much to look at right here. And I could cut this and put it in the uh, in the plastic tray. Let's see, which one did I cut? Right there. Cut it right there. Um, I could dump it out into the tray, but I'm going to dump it onto a plate just because I think it's, it makes more sense for me to try this. And so you all can see what it looks like. Let me turn this down a little bit. So I'm going to carefully pick this bag up. I'm going to cut across the top. Try not to drop it, which I sometimes I've done before in the past. And dump it out. And then I'll put this plastic bag back in that tray. Okay, so there it is. I don't have a fork with me. Hold on. This is pretty good sized sausages. So you get three sausages, what, four meatballs, and um, some peppers and tom tomatoes and onions and stuff like that. So I'm surprised you don't get more meat for this to be three servings. But I guess you get uh, one sausage each and a meatball and you'll have to fight over the other one. Eh, not too bad. Let me see what the meatballs look like if you cut them. Pretty good sized meatballs though. There's the texture of that inside. I mean, that's what it looks like inside. Let me see a sausage. Can cut it pretty easy, that's, that's nice. And there's what they look like inside. So I'm going to go over to the table and uh, give it a try. Hey. Right. Got some pieces cut up to where I don't have to fight with them too much. I'll make sure I get, I'll try a meatball first with some marinara sauce on it. So I can get some pepper and onions in there. No, I couldn't, but it's okay. Not a bad flavor. The um, the meatball has a really nice texture to it. It's, um, it's kind of that a denser texture that most meatballs have, but it's not like they put tons of bread to make filler. I mean, you can tell they've used something to compress it and have a little bit of filler in there, but I've had some meatballs that were like, they had so much like bread filler in it that they were, um, they were really dry and these aren't like that. These are, these are our plender tender enough, not dry, plenty of moisture. So I really like the texture. 
flavor's nice too. It's um, it's not, it's got seasoning, but it's not spicy. I mean, at all. The uh, there's no like burn your throat or anything like that. If anything, the the peppers and onions have as much um, like spice as this uh, meatball does. So. I like that, and the texture is like, like I said, it's kind of got a nice chew texture to it, um, a nice meaty texture. I like the texture of that quite a bit. Flavors are a little on the plainer side, just because it doesn't have a lot of the um, strong spices and stuff in there. It's good, it's just not, um, it's not very like seasoned, uh, really overly seasoned. Let's try the sausage. A little more dense. Getting the getting the spices from the from the sausage now. Almost like a breakfast sausage, but not quite. It's more like a really. It's more like a brat than a, than anything. It looks like a brat, to be honest with you. And it says it's just um, pork sausage. So you know, it says I just realized the meatballs say cheesy pork and beef meatballs. I don't get any kind of cheese at all. I don't, I don't even, I mean, no, I wouldn't even guess there was cheese. Cause I had to look back at the description on the box to see it said cheese. Um, there's definitely nothing that looks like cheese in there. Um, if there is, it's not much. And it definitely doesn't have the texture of any kind of cheese in there. And there's no little pockets of melty cheese or anything like that. So I still think they're good, but they're, they're definitely not cheesy. And the sausage tastes like a um, kind of like a brat you'd make on the grill. A little more um, like chew to them than the meatballs, but not like tough or anything like that. Not dry. I do have to say everything in here is has got a good level of moisture to it. It's not nothing in here has been dry. Um, I like the skin on the sausage too. They do have the little. Uh, the casing, but it's a natural casing, so it's not, um, it's not hard paper like. It's it's very, uh, it's got like a little um, snap to it, but it doesn't have. It's not tough to chew or anything. Nice sausage. Um, again, I get the sausage flavor from like a brat. You would get that that seasoning, but um, again, it's not spicy by any means. There's nothing there that's gonna um be hot or burn your throat or be like even if even a slight tingle there's nothing like that in this so just don't don't worry about it if you were worried about the sausage being a hot and spicy sausage or the meatballs being hot and spicy they are not at all so i like it most of the flavor honestly is um i mean you do get the flavor of the the meaty flavor of the meatball you get that um, the spices in the sausage, you do get that, but probably the, I don't know, it's pretty well balanced with the, um, the flavors you get in the marinara. The marinara itself is a very, um, tomato -y sauce. It's not really, uh, it's not really sweet, but it's not really, um, spicy either. I don't know if you've ever had, um, Swiss steak with onions and peppers in it. It kind of reminds you of that. It's kind of like, it's almost like a spaghetti sauce, but not. It's a different seasoning in that than a spaghetti sauce. Marinara is, is slightly different. It's kind of runny. Um, you know, it's not a really thick sauce. It's, it's going to fall off your fork. Um, it's not watery. It's just runnier than a really thick sauce. Um, I like the flavor, though. The peppers and onions still have some texture to them, too, but they're not raw. I really don't care for raw peppers and onions, like just chopped up raw peppers and onions. These are cooked. They do have a little crunch to them still, but they're still tender enough to where you can tell they've been cooked a bit. Um, overall, I like, I like, I like it. Um, the textures are really nice. The flavors are nice. They're nothing like, um, I don't know, there's nothing spicy or, or, you know, anything like that. There's nothing overdone. Um, it's pretty well balanced. Uh, I wish... For me, I wish there was a little bit more spice in the sausage, honestly. I would expect the meatballs to be more tame, um, not bland, but just more tame. And then the sausage would be a little stronger in the seasoning. 
This one is more, everything's kind of even. And I think that's because they're marketing it for um, everybody to eat, so they don't want to really spicy anything. So for me, I would have liked it better if it had been a, a, a little spicier sausage. That being said, I'm going to give it a four out of five. I do think it's a really good meal. I don't think you get a lot of food for $8.99 or um, $9.88. Sorry, flipping those around. $9.88. It's almost $10 for this, and you really only got three pieces of, of sausage that big. You know, you only got that three pieces of that, and um, and four pretty decent sized meatballs, but I don't know. Is that, is that worth $10? I don't know. You just have to make that determination yourself. It's if, it's a little expensive for me, I think, but if you're feeding, I think two people could definitely eat off this. Three might be pushing it a bit, um, unless you're all three of you are pretty light eaters. Um, three might be pushing it a little bit. Two is probably more fair, honestly. So um, with the exception of the price, I think it's worth trying out. So uh, yeah, four out of five for me. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.